Today I want to do a short video on one of the few multi-rate SFP Plus modules out there that auto-negotiates to match the device speed. If you've used SFP or SFP Plus modules, you know they're typically fixed at a certain speed, but this one claims to negotiate between 1 gigabit and 10 gigabit connections. If you want to learn more about this module, then watch the rest of this video, and if you haven't already done so, Please subscribe and click the notifications icon so you'll be notified of any future content. If your switch has SFP Plus or SFP ports, you're probably already familiar with the fact that they don't auto negotiate to different speeds. If you want one gigabit per second, then you have to use a one gig module or an SFP. If you want 10 gigabit, you have to use a SFP plus 10 gigabit module. And if you're looking for 2.5 gigabit, you're pretty much out of luck. Microtik recently released this new module that claims it can handle one gig, two and a half gig, five gig, and 10 gig, all from the same module. So let's take a look at the hardware and then run some tests to see if their claims are true. So if we look at the module side by side with a more traditional SFP plus module, we don't see a whole lot of difference. They look the same. There's no visual external difference of any type. If you didn't have the label on them, you really couldn't tell them apart. So I want to go over the test setup. I used an FS managed switch that's in my current test configuration as my platform. It's configured with a single standard 10 gigabit SFP plus transceiver that I used as the uplink. The second port is configured with the Microtech S Plus RJ10, which will be used to test all the various configurations and network speeds. The test rig I'll be using is a Core i7, which has an onboard 1 gigabit NIC, as well as a 2.5 and, and a 10 gigabit PCI Express NIC. To complement the test, I'm also using a 2.5 and, and a 5 gigabit USB network adapter. For the first test, I plug directly into the motherboard which is a one gigabit connection. And as you can see, it was detected correctly as a one gigabit card. Doing a quick test, the bandwidth shows it's connected and transmitting at the correct speed. Second, I plugged the network cable into a PCI Express two and a half gigabit interface card. And again, it was detected correctly at two and a half gigabits. Looking at the test results, it's transmitting at the correct speed. Pretty much the same result with the 2.5 gigabit USB adapter, and the performance was about the same. Next, I plugged into a QNAP 5 gig USB adapter. The correct network speed was detected. The performance was definitely higher than the 2.5 gigabit, but here we're beginning to see some of the bottlenecking from USB 3. I didn't use a 3.1 or 3.2 Gen 2. I used the standard USB 3 port. This, of course, will be minimized if you use a, a 3.1 or 3.2 Gen 2 port. And lastly, I plugged into an Intel 10 gigabit adapter. No issues at all detecting the card. However, here we're starting to see that my test network hasn't been optimized for mas maximum performance yet. Um, we can see a little degradation in speed although definitely faster than anything else that we've seen. This really has nothing to do with the transceiver itself, as it did detect the correct speed, and we'll cover more on network optimization in another video. This transceiver has done everything it claims to do. I've tried this in both the FS and my QNAP managed switch, with no issues at all, and I've been impressed how easily this negotiates new speeds. It's tad on the expensive side, however, if you run a 2.5 gigabit, or if you need to run different device speeds on your network, this transceiver is well worth it. During my testing, I only showed it attached to a switch. However, you can use this device on a PCI Express SFP Plus card, which again gives you a little bit more versatility. I'll leave a link below in the description if you need more information. And remember to give this video a like if you found it useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.